What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about if swapping release 1 and 2 can make a difference. Like for example, if the blending is 50-50, then if you swap release 1 and 2, will that make any difference? Or it'll be just the same thing? I know the answer might sound so obvious, but trust me, there's a lot of questions about this one. Some even think that release 1 will be the first half of the animation, and release 2 will be the flick of the wrist, or the second half of the animation. If you think about it, it kinda makes sense, right? Like, I really understand why some people think that way, so it's not really a bad take. There's a chance that these commanders could be right. And by the way, if you haven't watched my last video regarding about jump shot creator as well, it would be really cool if you guys can watch it after this, it will put more context on this video. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section any feedback about this topic. So now let's get right into it. So now for the first test, in here you can see I got Robertson on release 1 and Halliburton on release 2. Then on the other clip, it's the other way around, and that's with a 50-50 ratio. And in here you can see, everything is just the same. The way it gathered the ball, the way it lifts the ball, the leveling of the cockback animation in relation to other parts of the body, the flick of the wrist, everything is just the same. So it means that what other players think is not true. That release 1 is the first half of the animation, and release 2 will be the second half. Because if that's true, then there should be a difference because one clip should have Halliburton as the second half of the animation, and the other clip should have Robertson as the second half of the animation. So now I might say, ah, oh, chutes, maybe that screen won't show it to you. Like, try it on a game, at least on blacktop where you test things. That's a really good point, so here you go. And in here you can see, it's all the same as well. It's even better here because you can really see the leveling, like how it aligned to the eyes or forehead of the player. So you can really see if there's any difference. And in here, it's all the same. So now I might say, ah, oh, chutes, maybe all these blending stuff won't reflect on blacktop. It actually does, and here you can see, if I change the blending, you can really spot the difference. In this jump shot, Halliburton has more percentage, and since Halliburton is really a low release, it makes the jump shot lower than the 50-50 break. So basically, release 1 and 2 will mix all together equally. It's not like release 1 will take care of the one part of the animation, and release 2 will take care of the rest. It's not like that. So that's why if you swap two releases on a 50-50 ratio, it will be just the same. So again, just like my other video, I'm not saying that blending doesn't work, of course it works, it just happens that there's some misconceptions about it that I need to clear out. So again, after watching, please watch my first video here, it's going to be there on your screen. It will put more context to this video. So that's all for the video, if you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos and don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents and as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.